Hi, this is Connects Media, Rohan here, and today we are looking at Brackets. It's a modern and open source code editor, uh, and it's very lightweight, available on multiple platforms such as Windows, Linux, Distros, and on Mac OS. The website is brackets.io, which will head you over here. And it's really focused on visual tools, mostly for web development, but it has support for tons of other file types. Here you can see it's made with Love and JavaScript, and Brackets, which used to be part of Adobe, is now an open source project. You can go here and download the latest version, or you can check out the other releases they have. Uh, if you want to do a manual install with Mac OS, uh, or if you want to see if your Linux Linux distribution has a package available, for me, I'm I've already downloaded the file and I will be running it here. Let's bring that over, and the installer is quite simple. It requires less than 300 megabytes. Uh, of storage to start and you can agree to the terms and conditions here or you can read it before you install for this purpose I'm gonna go ahead and agree and we'll do a custom which includes brackets the explore integration and add to path let that get installed just takes a few minutes and while we're getting that going uh, we can see here it's focused on visual tools and a preprocessor support uh, it's crafted from the ground up for web designers and front-end developers uh, there's a bunch of features such as inline editors, live preview, and of course you can always install extensions and there is a built-in um, extension store on the app uh, application that is available for you. Uh, of course most of the extensions are also available on GitHub so you, if you did a manual install uh, on a Linux distro uh, you likely prefer using terminal or bash to do the installs for the extensions as well for everyone else uh, just the one installer on the website is fine and uh, everything's packaged in there okay so brackets has been successfully installed let's go ahead and run this and you can close that out in the beginning it's uh, it seems to be that this interface is a bit too tiny for me what you can actually do is go into themes and I prefer brackets dark and the font size to be 22 pixels of course you can also change the font family here so uh, you can see it has support for monospace, ms gothic uh, Japanese fonts and source code pro medium uh, so anyways we'll click done it looks pretty nice um, but there are actually a few more things I'd like to get done here so under view I would like uh, no split I'd also like to have uh, you can actually increase or decrease the font size here if you want or use the keyboard shortcut control plus or control minus uh, and then I'd like to select highlight active line what this does is when you're typing up something or wherever the cursor is it'll actually select the entire line uh, this makes it very easy for me to uh, use it and see uh, if I'm typing somewhere 
and all of a sudden my cursor moves down somewhere else I can see oh it's not here anymore it's on line 29 so and I believe everything else is okay make sure line numbers are there and word wrap and then we'll go over to the uh, extension manager now let's just go over to installed and of course and some defaults and you can see what's available uh, already uh, out of the box of course you can also install your uh, own themes whether you have a zip file or you can install from a URL likely a github repo or you can search the ones that are in this list and of course each of them have a more info button uh, with the developers name listed as well so you can audit that if you'd like for today I'm just gonna go over here and type in uh, brackets icon it's one of the things that I like to do and you might be wondering why do we need icons and actually if we go to close right now you can see all these files that are listed they're just the file names uh, it's not very nice to look at per se so the extension that we're gonna do is brackets icon give that a few minutes here usually it just loads up just fine uh, there we go brackets icon and of course you'll see there's a bunch of different brackets icons that are available uh, the one that I actually like uh, is by the person Ivo Gabe DeWolf uh, and this has well over 506,000 downloads uh, and it was first made available on May 29, 2016 uh, and of course we can cl click here and install let's close that and you can see there's a um, an icon right beside the file names uh, for each of them now the default one I don't really like too much especially for CSS it's a, it's a pound symbol for HTML it's uh, these two interesting things here uh, I actually like to go over to view and uh, change from ion icons to dev icons and that changes it to HTML to show the little number 5 symbol CSS has the CSS symbol uh, images have the the nice image symbol uh, it's very nice and easy to work with um, of course if you have very long file names here what you can do is just hover over this little divider and you can drag it out to however long you want it or however short you want it uh, I usually like it you know I, at least 10 to 15 percent open and you know just give it some space there just over here you can click on show and file tree you can find in files and feel free to uh, look around here uh, of course for a live preview at this point they only support Google Chrome or the Chromium open source project um, web browsers uh, unfortunately Microsoft Edge and uh, Firefox and uh, some of the other Chromium web browsers don't really work that well so make sure you have Chromium uh, open source project or the Google Chrome installed on your computer prior to clicking live preview and of course there's sometimes you might want a vertical split so that pretty much just opens uh, two different files so let's say we have index.html on the left side and on the right side we can have main.css so you could be working on multiple files at the same time 
and of course to close the file you can just click X right there and yeah, brackets is actually a pretty nice thing uh, we can actually go over here and just show you uh, for example if I was to type in P it shows you a list of uh, available options do you want a paragraph a parameter a pre a progress so yeah that's the one I want I close it and it automatically shows um, the opening and the closing and of course this works with a lot of other ones so we can say uh, let's say a href and we're going to link a file here so we can and it'll automatically show all the files that are listed in the folder we're currently working on so screenshots index HTML and main CSS uh, so we can do something like that and you know and it's pretty nice uh, color codes things it, it does the quotation marks automatically gives you helpful tips along the way to uh, make your coding a lot simpler and nicer um, and they even have uh, help available so if you go over to their website uh, you can actually go over to the support page uh, which is just a github uh, discussion page uh, or if you'd like you can actually click on their discord a button right here or to their YouTube channel to watch some videos they have about it uh, or if you are a developer and you want to contribute they're always looking for people uh, so you can hack on brackets you can write extensions and help translate brackets uh, so right now it shows it's available in 33 languages but they're always open to more people Anyways, that's just a quick look on brackets. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. And until next time, love your life.